Hi, welcome to this Corporate Maths video on the equation of a line for a point. In this video, we're going to focus on how to find the equation of a line going for a point if we've been given the gradient of that line. Now, one way to do it is to use the equation of a line, y equals mx plus c, use the m as the gradient of the line, and plug in the coordinates x and y, the x coordinate and the y coordinate of the point that you know that the line goes through, and find your plus c. And when you've got that c, then you can write out the equation of the line in the format y equals mx plus c. Another way to do it is to use this formula, and this formula is y minus y1 equals m bracket x minus x1, where m is the gradient and x1 and y1 are the coordinates that you've been given. And if you substitute those values in and rearrange this in the format y equals mx plus c, you will also find the equation of the line through a point. So we're going to use this version today, this formula, y minus y1 equals m bracket x minus x1, to answer some questions where we may need to find the equation of a line going through a point. So let's have a look at our first example. Our first example says a straight line with gradient 4 passes through the point 5 minus 1. Find the equation of the line. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this formula y minus y1 equals m bracket x minus x1 to find the equation of the line that has a gradient 4 and passes through the point 5 minus 1. So let's label the point. Well, it's going to be x1 and that's going to be y1. And obviously the gradient 4 is your m. So let's substitute those values into our equation. So we're going to have y minus y1. Well, y1 is minus 1. So it's going to be y minus minus 1 equals m, which is 4, brackets, x minus x1, and x1 is 5, so minus 5. So now we're going to simplify this. So y minus minus 1, well that's going to be y plus 1 equals, and let's expand our brackets, 4 times x is 4x, and 4 times minus 5 will be minus 20. And then we want to get it in the format y equals, so we're going to substitute 1 from both sides, so we're going to get y equals 4x minus 21. And that's it. So the equation of the line that passes through the point 5 minus 1 with gradient 4 would be y equals 4x minus 21. And that's it. So let's have a look at our next question. Okay, our second question says the line L1 passes through the points 1, 8 and 5, 6. Find the equation of the line L1. Now this question looks a little bit different because we haven't been given the gradient. The question doesn't say the gradient is 7 or 8 or 10 or whatever. So what we're going to have to do is in this question, because we've been given the two points that the line passes through, we can work out the gradient by using the formula m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So we can then work out the gradient and then once we find that, we can use use one of the points and use the formula. So we're going to label the points x1, y1, x2, y2. And then we're going to substitute them into this formula to get the gradient. So the gradient m is equal to y2, well that's 6, minus y1, and y1 is equal to 8, over x2, that's 5, minus x1, that's 1. And then whenever we simplify that, we're going to get 6 minus 8, and 6 minus 8 is minus 2 over, and 5 minus 1 is 4. And minus 2 divided by 4, that's the same as minus a half. So the gradient of the line that passes through these points would be minus a half. Now we've got the gradient, we can substitute this plus one of the coordinates into the equation that we're using in this video, which is y minus y1 equals m bracket x minus x1. So let's do that. So I'm going to use the point that we've labelled x1, y1, so that would be y minus y1 is equal to 8, so 8 equals m, which is minus a half, brackets, x, which is x, <laughs> minus x1, which is 1. And then we're going to work this out, so y minus 8 is equal to minus a half times x, that's minus a half x, and then minus a half times minus 1, that'll be plus a half because a negative times a negative is a positive. So minus a half times minus one would be plus a half. Now we're gonna get rid of this eight, so we're gonna add eight to both sides of the equation. So we're gonna get y equals minus a half x plus eight and a half, or that could be written as y equals minus a half x plus 17 over two. And either of these two versions would be fine. And that's it. So if we've been given two points, we can work out the gradient and then use the formula to work out the equation of the line. Okay, and our last question. Okay, let's have a look at our last example. So our last question says the lines y equals x minus 13 and y equals 3x plus 1 intersect at the point A. The point B has coordinates minus 10, 12. Find the equation of the line that passes through the points A and B. So this question is a bit similar to the last one, except we need to work out the point A to begin with. So to find where this point A is, we need to find out where these lines intersect. And that's quite nice because we know that the lines are y equals x minus 13 and y equals 3x plus 1. We know when the two points intersect, they must have the same y coordinate, so we can just equate them. We can write x minus 13 equals 3x plus 1. And let's solve that. So let's minus x from both sides. So minus 13 equals 
2x plus 1 and subtracting 1 from both sides of the equation would give us minus 14 equals 2x and dividing by 2 would give us x equals minus 7. So we know the x coordinate of where the two points meet of a is equal to minus 7 so we know that a is going to be minus 7 now we just need to find out what the y is. So let's substitute this back into one of our equations. Um, actually I'm going to try both of them just to make sure that it's right so we're going to do y equals minus 7 take away 13 so minus 7 take away 13 and that's going to be equal to minus 20. If we try the other one it'll be 3 times minus 7 which is minus 21 plus 1 would be minus 20 as well. So a is the point minus 7 minus 20. So now that we know that a is the point minus 7 minus 20 we now need to find the gradient of the line that passes through the points a and b. So we're going to find the gradient using m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And let's label our point. So it's going to be x1, y1, and that's x2, y2. And just remember, if we had labeled those the way around, x2, y2, and x1, y1, we would still get the same gradient. So let's substitute our points in. So m equals y2, so that's 12, minus y1, so it's minus, minus 20, over x2, that's going to be minus 10, minus x1, so minus minus 7. And when we simplify that, we're going to get that's equal to 32 over minus 3, which is going to be equal to minus 32 over 3. Or we could write minus 10 and 2 thirds if we wanted to. Okay, so we've now got the gradient. We now need to work out the equation of the line passing through the points A and B. So we can use this M, and we can use the equation of a line passing through the point Y minus Y1 equals M bracket X minus X1. Now I'm just going to make a bit of room here. Please, if you ever do Doing this in a test paper or homework whatever please don't just rub out your working out but i'm just doing that to get the make a bit of space we know that a is equal to minus 7 minus 20 anyway so let's substitute in our coordinates our x1 y1 and our gradient so y minus y1 so y1 is equal to minus 20 so y minus minus 20 is equal to m which is equal to minus 32 over 3 brackets x minus x1 so that's minus minus 7 and when we simplify that, we're going to get that's equal to y plus 20 is equal to minus 32 over 3 brackets x plus 7. And then we can expand our brackets, so that will be y plus 20 is equal to minus 32 over 3x. And then we've got negative 32 over 3 times by 7, so it's going to be a negative times a positive is a negative. And then we're just going to times those together. And that would be minus 224 over 3. And then finally, we need to find y on its own, so we need to subtract 20 from both sides, and that would leave us the answer of y equals minus 32 over 3x minus 284 over 3. And that's it. So the equation of a straight line through a point, if you know the gradient, you can use y equals mx plus c and use that one, or you could use the equation y minus y1 equals m bracket x minus x1.